Hey folks, Rich Van Tassel back with you. The San Antonio Spurs with a 121-96 victory over the Houston Rockets in Game 2. Evening up that series, a uh, fairly nip and tuck throughout. <clears throat> it was 65-55, to 10-point game in halftime. Houston outscored them by 5 in the third quarter, got it to 5. I believe it was a 9 nothing run to start the fourth. Um, and a two, they had two points going back to the third San Antonio that has really broke the doors open. It was 33-20 in the fourth. So altogether, Houston just could not find the range in the fourth quarter. Um, James Horton especially couldn't find it. Three of 17, 13 points, only two of nine from three, five of six from the line. So you hold James Horton to those numbers, you're going to be successful. Patrick Beverly, five of 13, shooting 12 points. He was minus 23, however. Clint Capella, 14 points. Ryan Anderson was playing well. Excuse me. He hurt his hand though, and he was minus 26, but shot seven of nine, four of five threes. Uh, off the bench, Nene had 10, Eric Gordon had 15, but Lou Williams only had four, minus 25, minus three, minus 11 from your three top bench players. For the Spurs, look at some of these pluses: plus 14 for Aldridge, plus 24 for Kawhi Leonard, plus 18 for Tony Parker, plus 14 for Paul Gasol, and plus 22 for Danny Green. Kawhi Leonard, 34 points, 13 of 16 shooting, 3 of 4 from 3, 5 of 5 from the line, 8 assists, 3 steals, 7 rebounds. Fill up the stat sheet. Had a sensational game. Paul Gasol, 13 rebounds, but only 6 points. Tony Parker left with what looks like a left knee injury, 18 points, 4 assists. Uh, 8 of 13 shooting the bench Jonathan Simmons came in gave them a good boost the Spurs how they just keep finding guys 14 points plus 15 5 of 9 shooting Manu Ginobili wasn't great his offense is still struggling but he was plus 16 6 points on 2 of 7 shooting Spurs all together shot just below 55% at 48 of 88 9 of 24 from 3 Houston comparatively just under 45%. So not nothing unexpected in this one. The Spurs were down 1-0. They got beat pretty handily, embarrassed on their home court. So they came out <clears throat> Excuse me, with the victory. Uh, Houston, clearly you're going to have games where you don't shoot that well, especially when you're heavily reliant on the three. 11 of 34 isn't terrible. It's just one below the 33% threshold. 11 for 33 would be obviously one out of three. But altogether, James Horton has got to shoot better than that, and he will. He'll have these games here and there, but it's still nothing Houston needs to necessarily worry about. Uh, you do have to worry about it for the games. You just hope it doesn't come in the biggest games you need it. This is a playoff game, but they did win one in San Antonio. They were looking to get this one, but just blown out in the fourth quarter. All right, so tomorrow we have Boston, Washington, Utah, Golden State. Be sure to stay tuned for any recaps of those games. Have a good night. Thank you.